Welcome everyone. Finally, I will continue my Sherlock project, which I will from now on call the Bearded Sherlock. And today we will make the most important part of the outfit. The Deerstalker cap, because hats make the man, right? But first, dramatic intro. So the basis of the cap is a six-piece dome, which instantly reminded me of this little fella here. It's a leather cap, um, which is part of my Viking gear. But this has five pieces and we definitely want six, so it's symmetrical and we can add ear flaps to the sides. So let's try to build a nice dome with some geometry. The pieces of the dome basically look like curvy pieces of cake. Mmm, cake. I will spare you the details of the construction process and just summarize. Our piece of cake has a 60 degree angle at the top and two 90 degree angles at the bottom. The lines A and B resemble the distance from right above your ear to the center top of your head. Line C is your head circumference divided by 6. Finally, I'm playing around with a French curve to make the lines at the sides as round as possible. Otherwise, the cap will either look like an egg or it'll be too roomy. And then I made a mock-up. Ta-da! I'm quite satisfied with the result, even though I still look like Calimero. You know Calimero? Now we'll finally use this awesome Harris tweed. This is actually the same fabric Sebastian used for our sewing books cover outfit here with the knickerbockers. It's a gorgeous fabric, it's dirt repellent and more or less chalk repellent, which makes it quite difficult to work with it, so we will cheat a bit with the horsehair reinforcement. You will see in a minute. After a quick walk in the neighborhood to clear my head, I used the pattern piece to cut out the horsehair interlining, put the interlining on the tweed and then cut out the pieces. I had to add the ear flaps on the final two pieces with chalk and here you can see how quickly the markings are gone or at least uselessly blurred. Now the nice thing is that I can use the edges of the interlining to see where I need to pin and then sew. After that I made the peak interlining from thick leather. I joined the pieces in pairs of two and lined the ear flaps, including the green ribbon here, before sewing everything together. For the button at the top, I covered a copper coin with the tweed. I also prepared the fabric for the peaks. Perfect. Now we have the main part of the cap, including the ear flaps. And like this, um, I think it looks a bit like a vintage pilot cap or something like this. Yeah, well, that's the main part. Then we have one, two peaks for the front and the back and we also have the lining which also includes the sweatband and we have the button for on top now apart from some basting i did all the seams with the machine but from now on the rest is pure handwork because for example the peaks here there's uh, the leather interlining and if I try to do this by machine and uh, am a few millimeters off, I will probably break my machine needle. So I will do this by hand. And since this gorgeous Harris tree doesn't like to be pressed, I will probably top stitch everything. Well, I guess that's what you do.
Well, that's it. Cap and Pipe already make a solid Sherlock Holmes, I guess. And even though the Inverness cape I want to make is a bit frightening, I really want to do it. If you want to stay tuned on that, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Thank you.